Hi guys, it is an absolutely gorgeous winter day here in South Austin, Texas. We made it to Thursday, January 31st, 2013. Uh, but guys, I don't, I don't have time to hardly notice this gorgeous day because my 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 heart is heavy. I've had something happen in my life, and I and I, and I don't even know how to approach this rant. I was. I was trying to put this rant off for two more weeks, but uh, guys, it, it, it's happened. Hambone little tail here at Humpty Dumpty Tribe has been exposed. I've been exposed. The lie is over. You know, I've got right, you know, I had to sneak down here. I had to crawl out of the back window of my trailer. I mean, I got everyone from Alex Jones to Oprah Winfrey camped out on 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 my my lawn and uh, camped out in my uh, organic potatoes out in front of my trailer wanting to to sacrifice me just like like my hero Lance Armstrong my fellow Austinite Lance Armstrong you know has to be sacrificed to the gods of truth. You know, there it's it is. I'm. This is this is one of the biggest uh, catastrophes to befall me. I mean, my entire my my my, my entire self concept. You know. Anyway, let let me just get to the point. I I. I you know, I, 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 I just need to be brutally honest to you guys. I have, for the, for, for the past three years, I have been living a lie. I am the great deceiver. I am, I'm just going to say it. I'm, I'm just going to own up to it like a man, like, like my hero, Lance Armstrong. Uh, uh, guys... I've been, I've, I've been living a lie for three years, acting like I'm some sort of doomsday prophet, environmental alarmist, chronicler of the downfall of civilization. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, have you guys believe one word of this unadulterated horseshit coming out of my mouth? Three years, me calling uh, Barack Obama a, a lying sack of shit, planet-killing dictator, war criminal, baby-killing, drone-operating puppet of, of big oil. You know, come on, guys. I, I've been exposed. I am, and I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I am a government hired disinformation agent who was set up on this rock three years ago to create this bullshit mystique. All this leading up to the Sandy Hook massacre. Okay? I am a paid actor being paid for by your tax dollars. The reason for Humpty Dumpty Tribe, the reason for these almost 800 rants, not to mention my 600 favorites, where I've been talking about this absolute horse shit like the 9-11 was an inside job, chemtrails, chemtrails, come on guys. You know, I just had one on the way down here. I had one of these bullshit rants about chemtrails. Do you think I'm an idiot? I know, a, I know a damn contrail when I see one. This whole thing has been an elaborate ruse or an elaborate hoax. And, and I have been a patsy of Barack Obama and, and all the guys in the federal government who are out here to destroy the Second Amendment and to come get your guns. Make no mistake about it, that is what is going on. And, and I have been part of it. 
and uh, and I have been exposed. It, it has finally happened. I have been called on the carpet, and this was from a fellow who, you know, when I saw this show up in the comments section to that horse shit rant I had a few weeks ago about squashing Sandy Hook conspiracy theory cockroaches. Uh, you know, I expected, uh, as did the, 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 the script writers for that script, to have a lot of trolls. But why was I not surprised about that? Let, let me just read the comment out and then I'll, and then I'll just take it apart here. This was from a fellow YouTuber named First Drake Passage. First Drake Passage. His comment, this was in response to that rant. Uh, Notice how well costumed this absolutely terrible hired actor is. What is he supposed to be? An aging ex-hippie? And the phony southern slash Texas accent? What a joke. I can smell a government hired disinformation agent nine miles away. In this sight stinks to high heaven. Well, thank you, First Drake Passage for, you know, just allowing me the opportunity to, to unload this weight, this three-year weight that I have uh, 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 just unabashed guilt that I've been carrying around with me, uh, you know, living this lie. You know, I, I tried to tell Rocky, R Rocky is what uh, we call Barack Obama, my buddy Barack Obama, we, uh, us uh, government infiltrators hired by Barack, uh, we call him Rocky. You know, when Rocky gave me this script a few weeks ago, I, I said, Rocky, uh, you know, I, I, I said, you're treading on thin ice here, you know? I said, we're up against, uh, you know, we're up against the single most brilliant band of intellectuals that, that we've ever faced. You know, these guys understand. They, they have called our bluff. You know, I said, don't, don't run this script. Don't make me do it. Don't make me get up on that rock. I said, it's going to blow our cover. And, and my buddy Barack, you know, he's going, Ham Moan, trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. Uh, you know, we need to make out, you know, these, these Sandy Hook conspiracy theorists. Now, of course, Barack knows as well as I do that the Sandy Hook conspiracy theorists are on to it. They know, they, they know goddamn well that it was a bunch of, you know, my, my fellow government hired actors who pulled off this whole stunt. Uh, but, but he was trying to tell me that the sheeple who, ref you know, who are not going to understand this conspiracy are, are going to hold up the, the Sandy Hook conspiracy theorist uh, as such absolute head up their ass wacko morons that they more than anybody else will promote the gun control agenda. These attacks on the Second Amendment that uh, Barack Obama and I and everyone else uh, who, who want to come into your home and get your guns, uh, you know, he, his point, and, and, and Rocky's not stupid, was that we could actually take advantage of these, uh, of these, uh, uh, of these, what the sheeple will understand are, are completely out of control morons. That, 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 that any, any pretense 
towards discernment and critical thinking. Uh, you know, and uh, and I tried to argue with him, but then so what he did, uh, he just he, he opened up his wallet. Rocky opened up his wallet and said, "What what does it take, Hambo? We need you in our camp. Do you need a raise?" And he started uh, pulling out these Obama bucks, these these Bernanke bucks. You know, and after uh, guys, I sold out. I sold out. I, I now I held out, but I I got paid ten thousand, ten thousand uh, Bernanke bucks to uh, to come up here on this rock and and read my little script like I do every day. Like I do every day, I got ten thousand dollars for uh, for reading that script, and 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 guys, I I I, I can't tell you how moldy I feel about how I've been misleading you guys. So uh, let me go back to this comment. Uh, this this perhaps will be my last rant. You, you know my. My hundred thousand dollar a year job as a government hired disinformation agent is over. You know, I haven't even heard. I haven't gotten the call. I haven't gotten the call, but it'll probably be coming any minute. So before I go up there and face Alex Jones, oh, and Oprah, and I think Dan Rather came out of retirement. To get the story, let's let me go through the first Drake Passage's comment. Notice how well costumed, well costumed this absolutely terrible hired actor is. This costume, what it is, uh, this is the costume that I was wearing, so I, I'm bringing it out for you again. This is my made in China, my made in China moose shirt that I bought in Grand Teton National Park uh, because it was on the sale rack for 80% off. Now, you can't see it here, but underneath underneath this wig I'm wearing, this fake actor hippie wig. Do you guys believe for one minute that this is my real hair? Do you seriously think this is my real hair? Anyway, it's covering up the, 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 this U.S. National Parks, U.S. National Parks logo on the back of this made in China shirt but uh, I, I could not think of a better costume to be a, a government employed actor uh, than a made in China shirt I found on the sale rack in a US National Park. This next sentence, what is he supposed to to be an aging ex-hippie? <laughs> Guys, I guess that's what I am. That's what it, that, that's what it says right here on my contract, uh, on, my, on my Actors Guild contract. It says that I am supposed to play the part of an aging ex-hippie. Uh, now that there, I, I, I see some contradiction in terms, as I pointed out to the script writers from, from day one on Humpty Dumpty Drive when they came and uh, picked me out of, you know, I was over into Hollywood uh, looking, you know, looking for a job when they found me, and, and I said, guys, what, what the hell does aging X hippie means? It, 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 it's kind of a contradiction in terms. How X, it, it, it implies, uh, it, well anyway guys, you figured out for yourself how the term aging X hippie is a complete contradiction in terms. It implies that if I'm an aging X hippie that, that I'm, who is that guy who got progressively younger and younger and younger? That actually, that implies that I'm that I'm getting younger, and I tried to point this out 
that, uh, but th they didn't want to hear it. They said, trust me, nobody will figure out, nobody is going to be smart enough to figure out that you are an aging ex-hippie. Uh, but little did they know that this genius first Drake passage, it took the man, it took the man almost three years to call me out guilty as charged. I am a hired actor playing the part of an aging ex-hippie. And now, guys, let's get to my favorite uh, or, or the most sobering part of this exposure of Hamlin Littletail about that phony southern Texas accent. What a joke. Again, I, I told my dialect coach over and over again, guys, if you want to know the truth, uh, my real voice my real voice, I sound exactly like Piers Morgan for the, the, if you, because the uglier truth, I can't even believe I'm going here, that I am not even a U.S. citizen. I, am, uh, I was born and raised in England, and my real voice sounds exactly like Piers Morgan. I, I would sit here and model it for you, uh, but, 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 you but it's more than you could take. It's more than you can take. I, I said, guys, anybody, anybody who was born and raised in, a, in you know, in Atlanta, Georgia, as you claim this aging ex-hippie is supposed to be some native of Atlanta, Georgia, and that he lived in Georgia for 23 years, and that he's lived in Texas for 12 years, that anybody with a real southern accent could spot this fake this joke, it's a joke. This, this accent, this fake southern accent. Anybody with a brain, but again, my, dia, my dialect coach said Hambone, and I know you love the name Hambone. Where did they come up with that shit, Hambone? Guys, for, for you guys who don't know, my name is Sam. Uh, but anyway, ham, I got a little ham bone little tail. They assured, they assured me that, uh, that nobody would figure out the fake southern accent that I've been bringing to this rock for three years. But once again, it took, it took the penetrating intellect of a, of a Sandy Hook conspiracy theorist to figure it out. And uh, I can, as this as first Drake passage says, I can smell a government hired disinformation agent nine miles away. And this site stinks to high heaven. There you go. This guy, he 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 smelled this whole conspiracy out of out of. Newtown, Connecticut, where the government hired all these actors to go in there and hire this non-existent gunman to go in there and kill all these non-existent children uh, so they could hire these actors, these non-existent parents of this non-existent children uh, in this non-existent school, in this non-existent town, in this non-existent state of Connecticut, I guess. Uh, y y you know, if he's figured all that out, uh, if he has used his, his brilliant uh, intellect to figure all that out, then, you know, what chance did I have? What chance did I have? This, uh, this fake, dumb, Agent X hippie on a rock with his fake southern accent taking his check from the federal government. But I guess, you know, he's probably right. Uh, this site stinks to high heaven. Humpty Dumpty tribe has been exposed. And my guess is when I get back up to my, my FEMA trailer, which, I, which I'm sure I'm going to lose there, probably, you know, FEMA's going to come put, put my trailer on a truck and haul it on off, and I will be homeless, homeless once again. 
and I can blame it all on uh, on my new buddy, my new conspiracy, my Sandy Hook conspiracy factist buddy who has uncovered me and exposed me. And, and dude, all I can, all, I guess, all I can say is thank you, thank you. And I guess I will now return to my life, my former life, my real life as a capitalist pig, real estate agent, and real estate investor. So guys, it, 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 it has been nice knowing you here on the Humpty Dumpty Tribe, and for all of you people who have been taken in by my horse shit, I, I, from the bottom of my little hambone heart, I, I, I apologize, I beg for your mercy. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm meeting with Lance Armstrong. Lance has already called me and I'm meeting with him for lunch. Lance and I are gonna talk about, uh, you know, we're starting a, we're starting a, a support group for lying sacks of shit who have been exposed by truth seekers with a capital T. Truth seekers with a capital T. Like uh, the Sandy Hook conspiracy factist. So I don't know if I'll ever see you again, but it's been nice, guys. And so perhaps for the last time ever, let me look into my Made in China camera wearing my Made in China U.S. National Park shirt and say bye guys.